Hi, Liz. Thanks so much for chatting with me. I'm Kate from theshoppingmama.com. Hi, Kate. Thanks for having me. Um, first things first, you've been in this business for a long time. What inspired you to, to start designing maternity clothes? Well, you're right. Um, I, I had been working at Vogue. I never in a million years thought I'd be a maternity clothing designer. But then a lot of my friends started to get pregnant. They all had the same complaint. Everything was oversized. They couldn't find anything that felt like them. It looked like regular, normal clothing. And I had this kind of aha moment of, well, I know. I need to design just regular looking clothing that just looked like anything we'd want to wear anyway and make it more fitted because there was no reason why clothing needed to look so oversized. In fact, I find the more oversized the clothing is, the more oversized you look. So right. my line today for Target reflects those principles. It's all about just great looking clothes that I think you'd want to wear. And actually women write me and they say that they do, which is so flattering, whether you're pregnant or not. And they're all nice. They're well cut and they're well, and they fit really well. And they show off your new bump in a great way. Um, and you've been with Target for several years too. How did that um, how did that collaboration come together, and why was it a good fit for you? Oh, I, I the, the partnership with Target is is one of is is a very long standing relationship. It started back in two thousand and one, so I can't believe we're going on a decade now. <laughs> uh, but it's been wonderful. I looked at what Target was doing, and I saw that they really understood the integrity of designers, and they really knew how to do it right. And I wanted to be able to offer my clothing, not just at the high-end price points that I was doing on Madison Avenue and in Beverly Hills, but I wanted to be able to offer it to pregnant women everywhere. But I didn't want to compromise for one second on quality or on design, and Target was able to offer me that. They were able to offer me the best quality, the best design, my design designs at incredible price points. So to me, it was a no brainer. Well, we love Target. I could go on and on and spend every paycheck forever there. So it, it's definitely, yeah, it's, it's a hard place to resist. Um, I see some of the summer pieces behind you. Um, and what are some of your must-have pieces you think for this summer? Well, certainly the dress is a must-have piece. And we're showing you here a shorter length dress, but maxi dresses too have been so huge and we've done so many cute ones for Target. But really, whether you're a maxi dress girl or you're a short dress gal, it doesn't really matter. Dresses are just one-stop shopping for summer. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They are key. Denim is key too. On the other side of me, you're seeing our dark wash denim. I love dark wash for pregnant women because I do think it's a very versatile wash. You can dress them up and you can dress them down. But at Target, we are very, very fortunate and we offer denim in every single wash and we offer them basically in every style, whether you're a below the bump and above the bump type of person, whether you want a flare, a boyfriend fit, a clam digger. We're even doing fabulous denim shorts. So that's really important. And I mean, I could go on and on. We do our classic long and lean tanks, which are a must have for summer and a great basic. And we do a lot of fabulous t-shirts. You see the one behind us here in red. We do that in so many colors. It's $9.99. So you can afford to buy some colors. Um, and we also do ruched t-shirts. And I love the ruching because ruching really allows you to get that fabulous fitted look. Yes, that is avoids the whole tent. Avoiding the tent is what it's all about. Yes. Um, and in the pieces behind you too, you can see a lot of color and I noticed that a lot of your pieces for the summer have color and a lot of pattern. Are there any colors or patterns that you think pregnant people should avoid? You know, I feel quite the opposite. I, you know, I'm so tired of all of those old rules of pregnant women can't wear stripes. Pregnant women can't wear bold patterns. Pregnant women have to just dip themselves in black. Now, you know, sure, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just simply not true. As you can see in this fabulous dress behind me, prints look beautiful on pregnant women. And, you know, I think we're very inspired these days, and I'm glad, by celebrities. And they really know how to dress themselves well. And if you've looked at people like Jessica Alba or Selma Blair, they are wearing prints and patterns. And they are looking fabulous doing so. And we are absolutely showing them a target. Um, and you're seeing some really fun, bold colors this summer. I think it's an 80s influence, but we're seeing a lot of reds. We're seeing a lot of peacock blues, a lot of cobalt blues. And I think those look so beautiful on pregnant women as well. Yes, I really love that dress behind you. Too. Thank you. I do too. <laughs> yeah. If I do say so myself. <laughs> I say that. Um, one of uh, the writers on the Shopping Mama, Malia, is pregnant, and she works outside of the home also. And she said she's having trouble finding a balance between being comfortable, also looking a little stylish, while also looking professional. 
So do you have advice for her to still be comfortable, but, you know, avoid yoga pants and uh, tank tops at work to, to still look professional? Yes, that is such a good question. And I think that, you know, I, dressing career women has always been a huge part of my business. I think it's about taking things like the dress that you're seeing right here and maybe pairing it with a blazer or with an appropriate cardigan with a closed toe shoe and wearing that to the office, especially during the summer. Um, or if you're, if you work in an office that will allow jeans, it's about not wearing your torn up boyfriend jeans, but instead opting for a clean, darker wash and pairing it maybe with a button front shirt or a great ruffly blouse. We're seeing a lot of ruffly blouses. There's sort of this 1950s Mad Men influence going on. Maybe it's because January Jones is pregnant and Betty yeah. Draper is pregnant too. So, you know, I think that's a beautiful look for the office. Um, so I think it's easy to take the comfortable pieces that you like to wear on the weekends or end on your time off and just adding one or two things to it. Maybe an appropriate pair of earrings. Maybe it's a blazer. Maybe it's a cardigan. Maybe it's just the Way you're doing your makeup and that will make you look polished finished and correct for the office that's great she will appreciate that advice um another another stage that can be hard to dress for is when you're in the first trimester and it's sort of that you just feel a little fat you know is she pregnant is she not do you have any advice for women to um dress their best and feel their best during that time you know, the first trimester, you are absolutely right, I think is the absolute trickiest from a fashion point of view because you haven't really popped yet. You're just a little bigger, and sometimes you don't even want people to know. My best advice is that you start, you don't want to buy your maternity wardrobe then. If you buy too early, you're going to need to buy again, and none of us want that. You want to be able to buy once and really have the pieces work. I might invest in some long, lean tanks or some longer tops that are maternity because those you will be able to wear through, and then try to get away with your same old bottoms. Maybe you're just unbuttoning the top bottom, the top button of your favorite pair of pants and you're wearing a longer, leaner maternity top on top. I think, and also we're seeing so many cute stretchy things in the non-maternity world these days. So you might have already a little stretchy t-shirt dress or a little stretchy skirt. And that's really the way to go at the beginning. Hold off on buying until you're at least, I don't know, I'd say 12 weeks or 14 weeks pregnant. Yeah can be so hard. You're all excited and feeling like, oh, I'm so big, but really it's... But you're not. not and you've yeah. got a long way to go. So you really yeah. want to hold off for as long as you can and let the longer pieces in your wardrobe and your stretchier pieces do the work for you in that first trimester. Makes sense. How, how, looking back, are there any uh, maternity fashion trends that you think now, what were we thinking that's just really not a good idea or that didn't... I hate that we dressed people in that. Well, you know, I, what, ah, well, thinking back, I mean, certainly I think before I, I started my line in 1997, and I kind of think of the 80s and the early 90s as, a, as really like the dark ages of maternity clothing, <laughs> when women were sort of forced to wear things, as we've talked about here, that were extremely oversized, like they were wearing tents, basically, or they were wearing things that were very babyish. It's almost as if the people designing thought that pregnant women were morphing into babies rather right. than just getting ready to deliver a baby. So all those Peter Pan collars and all the sweet details, those kind of, you know, they kind of make me cringe. I think women are much more powerful than that. I think this is an extremely celebratory time in a woman's life. And I am just so thrilled that today we can offer women all the clothing that they deserve during this very exciting time. Um, looking forward to fall, do you see any, some of the same trends continuing to fall or do you think, uh, you know, what will sort of be the new looks for fall? Well, we have some really strong trends going on, on going into the fall that I really am a huge fan of. In addition to the strong colors we're seeing, and we are seeing some strong colors, peacock blue, cobalt blue, reds, these continue. But then we're seeing as the new neutral, and every year there's a new black. But this year the new black is definitely sort of is gray, whether it's a slate, whether it's a charcoal. That's going to be a great foil back to some of these brighter, hotter, more saturated colors. Um, we've talked about some of this already. We're definitely seeing... Um, Mad Men inspired roughly looks. We're definitely seeing um, 70s inspired looks, whether that means sort of the bell bottom jeans, um, looser blouses, uh, stripes. Stripes are very important. And don't think that because you're pregnant, you can't wear them. You absolutely can. And then finally, one of my absolute favorites is the new neckline, which is this drapey neckline. And we've done a lot of it for Target. We've done it in sweaters. We've done it in t-shirts. We've been seeing it a lot this summer. I'm sure you've noticed. I think it's so flattering because it really elongates the neck and almost gives you that sort of swan lake, swan-like 
neck. And I really, really like that trend. So th those are some of them. Sounds great. Well, I'm a big fan. I uh, purchased a bunch of Liz Lang maternity when I was pregnant with my son, wore a lot of it again and added new pieces uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter. And seeing the new stuff makes me want to dress, you know, have a bump for no apparent reason other than to, to wear your clothes. So I really appreciate your time and uh, we're big fans. So thanks again. Well, my goodness, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Thanks so much. Sure. Mm -hmm.